uh, on with the readings. One quick experience at, uh, through Poetry Caravan that I was very uh, impacted by, and I, I can't forget it, is at a workshop at Grace Church, a women's, the women's residence at Grace Church, I think Alice had mentioned mm -hmm. women's residences. Uh, I was leading the creation of a poem about a topic that they assigned, and the topic was loss, and it was very helpful to me because I was undergoing a loss at the time, and it just like was coincidental that it, you know, it was very, you know, very helpful to me. And one woman lost her husband, another woman lost her children through a divorce, and it was, and the camaraderie that had developed ended the bickering that I had noticed that was going on among these women before they sat down. So they became friends as a result of the poetry. And one of the women who wrote a poem about the loss of a strange friend that she acquired, a mouse, she had a line from the poem, when the mouse died, her line was, the mouse's cry could go right through you. And it just was, I thought, very, very poetic. And um, so I found, uh, I got a lot out of it. So Betsy or whoever is considering joining Poetry Caravan, you get really a lot out of, you're giving, but you, you're getting more than you're giving. Um, I'm going to read three, three poems. Uh, the first is from Encompass, called Lost Delusions. It's about a panhandler who had an interesting way to get your money, and I got sucked in. <laughs> um, but was sort of glad I did. Lost Illusions. The sign was cardboard, 11 inches by 7, with green crayon words, Lost Illusions, all uppercase, with an exclamation mark ending the upward drift of letters. Bright green string held the placard around his neck, undefined and dirty from the grime of his tatted shirt hanging on shoulders at least 75 years of age. One pot collecting money was filled with fives and tens, no coins with them. The other pot held folded notes, I suppose describing the donor's written lost illusions. When he turned his head, I put a 20 into the money pot and I took three scraps from the other. For an instant, I felt like a thief, but I reasoned I might read the notes and try to make each of three lost illusions a found reality. The three are still in my jacket pocket. Tomorrow, I plan to open them. 